So without wasting time, let's start the video. I'm going to discuss something different today. Let's understand the upper limb rescue blocks around elbow and at wrist with the help of a surface nerve mapper pen device. Before I start, let me give you a disclaimer that this video is not any kind of paid promotion or brand endorsement. I am describing here what we are using daily in our theater. This pain device is used for percutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Many of you must be using it in your practice or you might have seen this in various RA workshops. It is an excellent tool for teaching surface anatomy because it provides a non-invasive technique for localization of a peripheral nerve to facilitate the nerve or plexus block. It helps us to localize a superficial nerve before performing a PNS guided peripheral nerve block like the way we do a scout scanning before doing an ultrasound guided peripheral nerve blocks. This device connects to a peripheral nerve stimulator enabling nerve mapping without puncturing the skin. It can be used to locate a superficial nerve up to a depth of 3 cm approximately. It may improve the success rates and decrease the number of needle punctures during PNS guided blocks. The electrode tip of the pin is are traumatic, round and ball shaped. The diameter of the tip is usually less than 3 mm to increase the current density and improve the spatial discrimination. From my personal experience, the sensation is felt like a kind of tingling, pinprick, electrical shock like or burning. Depending on the stimulus amplitude and duration, it might be uncomfortable or even painful, but it does not cause any kind of injury to the skin or the nerve. For transcutaneous nerve mapping, you need a peripheral nerve stimulator, the pain device and an electrode to complete the circuit. You also need a marker pen and scale to draw the landmark and mark the needle insertion point. Regarding the PNS settings, you can start with a 5 milliampere current with 1 hertz frequency and 1 millisecond pulse duration as larger energy is required during the transcutaneous nerve stimulation. This is not fixed in linen thin patient, lower current intensity or duration may be sufficient to elicit the twitches. And to perform the block, you need 25 to 50 millimeter 22 gauge short bevel insulated nerve block needle as these are very superficial. For PNS setting, you can remember the rule of one, that is one milliamps current intensity, one hertz frequency, and 0.1 millisecond pulse duration. The local anesthetic you can choose according to your convenience and the purpose of the block. I use three to five ml of local anesthetic for each nerve. Just like any other PNS guided block, the knowledge of relevant anatomy and the surface landmarks form an essential component. For above elbow median nerve block, the needle insertion point will be about 1 cm above the elbow crease and just medial to the brachial artery. Below elbow it is almost similar, just 1 cm below the crease and medial to the brachial artery. Here you will get the motor response in the form of finger flexion or wrist flexion or thumb opposition. For ulna nerve block above elbow, the point of needle insertion will be 1 to 2 cm above the level of medial epicondyle in the ulnar groove. And for below elbow, the line joining medial epicondyle and the styloid process of ulna is divided into three equal parts. The junction of the proximal one third and the distal two third is the point of needle entry. Here you will get the finger flexion, the little finger and ring finger and the thumb adduction or ulnar deviation of the wrist. For radial nerve block, first the biceps tendon is identified by flexing the elbow against resistance. A point 1 cm lateral and above the elbow crease is chosen for needle insertion. Below elbow, the point will be same lateral to the biceps tendon and just below the elbow crease. Here you will get the wrist or finger extension. At wrist level, the median nerve is identified between the flexor carpi radialis and the palmaris longus tendon. To identify the tendon, you can ask the patient to flex the wrist against resistance. For ulnar nerve, the needle insertion point will be between the ulnar artery and flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. Remember, while doing these nerve blocks, once you start getting responses at 1 milliampere current, start decreasing your current up to 0.2. 
you should not get any twitches at 0.2 if you are getting the twitches at 0.3 or 0.4 milliampere you can accept that as an endpoint and start injecting the local anesthetic after negative aspiration for blood to complete the rescue blocks at risk level the radial nerve is blocked by the subcutaneous infiltration along this dotted line because here you will get only the superficial branches of the radial nerve or you can infiltrate in the anatomical snap box that's all for today. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.